All right, guys, welcome back to video number 34, and let's continue creating our new function. Okay, so we put our, where's our functions.php page? Okay, so we're putting our queries together right now. Now let's go ahead and call the result by using our result underscore set variable. So let's go ahead and drop down a line right here. And actually, first things first, I'm going to give limit a space right here because after this concatenates information ID, either we need to concatenate a space right there or we can just go ahead and do what we just did. I'll give it a space right down there <coughs> for our limit command. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop down a line and now, <coughs> now we need to start talking to our database. So I'm gonna go ahead and use our result underscore set variable and I'm gonna set this equal to we're gonna to talk to the database we're gonna read something and we're gonna ask it a question so let's go ahead and give it our variable of query and let's continue the argument of how to open it on up because all of our stuff was in here remember we have we created that constants page where everything's now inside of that but we need to go ahead and create another global variable for this because this function doesn't know that doesn't know well it hasn't been passed through our arguments we need to go ahead and create a global variable for a connection and I'll just go ahead and do it right up here and I'll go ahead and add a semicolon to close that out and you can make a comment right here if you if it's going to help you out just uh, create a global create global var because ugh, connection has not been passed through our argument. Okay, I'm running out of real estate right there, so I'm going to go ahead and just backspace this up a little bit. But again, anything that's going to help you. So, okay, so we're going to talk to our database. Now we need to return. So let's go ahead and use our function that we created called confirm query. And let's go ahead and pass in our argument of result set. And let's go ahead. I'm going to drop down a few lines so you can see what we're doing a little bit better okay and now let's use our information variable to fetch our array mysql fetch array which is our first step because now we are returning data and same variable set we'll close that out and now we just need to return it because PHP is not that smart and it doesn't assume, it can't just assume what we're trying to think. Okay, so backspace a little bit and let's go ahead and clean this on up. And I think that's all I want to do in this video. There's a lot going on for this function, so I'm going to cut this video up in a few different parts, but hopefully you guys are following along. Good luck with this. I'm going to go ahead and see you guys in the next video.